Hi everyone. Today we'll look at an example of programming a traffic light. Two different types of methods. And for the logic we will have green will be on for five seconds, yellow on for two seconds, and red will overlap for three seconds. And the first example you'll see that both will do the exact same thing but we'll use timers for one and we'll use indirect addressing for the next. So if you see on my screen here, there's my outputs right now. I have a program running that's using timers. You'll see the red, red. Then this one will go green. Then it'll go back to yellow. Then back to red for the overlap. And then this side will now go to uh, green. Then it'll go back to yellow. And then back to red. So let's take a look at the logic. And here's the logic here. So the first scan obviously resets the timers. And we have timers for the red red overlap, the yellow, etc. And then we get into the logic of actually the output. So pretty straightforward program. And you can see that it's uh, it functions, it works. And it's very easily read. Now there are other ways of doing it and the other way would be indirect addressing. So what we'll do is we'll just open up that other program I have. And we'll just write this to the PLC. And here we go. So we'll just call up that uh, simulator again and we'll take a look. The logic is exactly the same. The functions are the same. So you have the green light on here, then we'll go to yellow, then the overlap for red, red again. And the opposite side, the same issue. Now in this example, what we have is um, some move statements, some compares, and that's how we actually get the outputs to, to function or behave the way they do. So if I look at the elements here, I set up a couple of, of pointers, and the first one um, being at uh, its pointer uh, V0, which is showing address 117, 118, so it is, it's incrementing every one second. and at these uh, different addresses, what you'll find is the actual value in there. The value is written to the outputs, and that's what actually turns them on and off. So you can see this will go up all the way up to uh, 119, and then at 120, it just resets back to 1000 again. So it goes from V1000 to V1019, then back to V1000 again. With this method, I can change um, these values and actually change the entire program. So here we have the first scan. It actually resets um, my sequence. Then I have the one second, which actually increments my pointer. Then I have, if it's under uh, 1020, it will actually move to the output. And I actually move then the output to the output channel, which is uh, V1. And then from V1, I pick up the individual bits of that, that word and actually fire the outputs. So here's, here's this output going from red to green and then the yellow, and then we'll go back to red again. So hopefully if you'd like to, a little more information and additionally uh, there's some more information on the website. It's accautomation.ca and we also go through what happens if a car comes and we will put uh, uh, that sequence in that rotation as well as then what do you deal with when you have inputs and using inputs with indirect addressing. So until next time. Thanks for watching. 